Hey, welcome to Chris JRS. My name is Chris and in this video, I'm going to be doing another food tasting. So a few months ago, Kraft, the makers of Kraft Dinner Mac and Cheese, they came out with some flavor boosters. So they came out with six flavors. It was buffalo, buffalo wings, uh, poutine, jalapeno, butter chicken, ghost pepper, and cotton candy. Yeah, that was six, I believe. So I've looked everywhere for it, wasn't able to find it. So I decided to go online and order it. So a few weeks ago I ordered it and I've been meaning to make this video so I can try them out and I was able to get this. So these are the four flavors I got. I got jalapeno, butter chicken, cotton candy, and ghost pepper. So two flavors, the buffalo wing and poutine, they were both sold out at the time. So it is a limited edition. So it says up here, limited edition. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna be around for. It's been about out for about two or three months right now. And yeah, so I've been meaning to try this for a while. So these ones are other ones I want to try as well. So I'm gonna do a little bit of sampling and see how they taste. Now, out of all of them, I'm probably most excited for to try the cotton candy and the ghost pepper because cotton candy just sounds kind of weird. Uh, butter chicken sounds pretty good. Curious about that one too. Jalapeno, I'm assuming it probably just tastes like regular jalapeno. I don't know. So, I've got a bowl of macaroni and cheese here that's ready to go. It's just freshly made, so it's still kind of hot. So you're supposed to make it and then add the add a pack. So for this is one packet, this is one box. So this is right here is one box. Uh, you just make it as regular rack and cheese, and then you're able to add the flavor boost, flavor, add a pack in, a full pack inside of it. I'm not gonna be adding a full pack. I've got little sample bowls here, so I'm just gonna put it in these bowls and try them out. So, so I got my four bowls right here of my mac and cheese. So I'm just gonna put them all in. So let's start with. I'm gonna start with jalapeno first. I think that's good enough. Let's try this. Not bad. It has like chunks of like, like jalapeno, I guess. Like a dried jalapeno. It's like a hint of spice, kind of it's like a, like if you're biting like chunks of black pepper. But overall, it's not bad. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good for if you like a little bit of spice. So it's not bad. Kind of tastes like almost like black pepper. It's like a dried jalapeno chunks in here. Um, it's a little bit chewy, not chewy, but like crunchy. It's good. It's good. I like that one. That's okay. So let's move on to the next one then. All right, so next up is butter chicken. I like butter chicken. Ooh, that smells like, like a butter chicken sauce, which I'm assuming what it is. It smells, it doesn't smell like butter chicken. It smells more like a, like a spices. It smells pretty decent. So this is butter chicken. Okay. Yeah, I taste the butter, like the butter chicken sauce. It's I can't tell if I like it or not. It's not a, I don't love it. I don't hate it. You taste like these like spices, not really. I guess you can taste butter chicken a little bit in it. Kind of like the butter chicken sauce. 
Um, it's not bad. It's not my favorite though. I don't know what to say. I really don't know if I. I probably wouldn't get it again. I do have two packs of it though. Meh. I'm still really trying to get like a some kind of feeling toward this one, the bar chicken. Yeah. Uh, I'll do cotton candy next. Try ghost pepper last. <clears throat> I was, so cotton candy is probably one of the weirdest, weirdest flavors that they had. Um, just because it is pink, it doesn't make it pink. So, you know, pink food generally doesn't seem healthy. There's not too many pink foods there. Whoa, that looks like, okay, that's a little too much. That kind of looks like a, like jello or something. It looks kind of like, oh, kind of like fun dip. Kind of looks like that. That didn't look natural at all. Like nothing about that looked normal. So let's mix that up. So because of the, it is like kind of like a purplish color, I guess with the yellow makes it pink. probably the most um, dramatic one like looks wise it is pink so let's try this one out Ooh, that's sweet it's not like it's not like sweet sweet but it's actually kind of good that's oddly not bad I'm actually one of the kind of people who eat mac and cheese with ketchup. So it kind of tastes like if you had ketchup on it. It doesn't give you the ketchup taste, but it's already sweetened. Mm. That's not bad. Yeah. So if you like mac and cheese with ketchup, this already tastes like the ketchup. You got the ketchup there for you. I don't taste, I don't really taste cotton candy. It just makes it, made it sweeter. But it's not bad. Actually, it's not bad. And the last one I have here, last well, nothing's in there right now, is the ghost pepper. So I'm assuming this is not gonna be crazy hot or anything like that. If you haven't seen a video I recently did with the uh, Packy One Chip Challenge, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be anything like that. This is just ghost pepper, anyways. So. Let's try this, this is some ghost, ghost pepper. Mm. That's pretty good. Surprisingly, it's spicy. It's spicier than I expected it would have been. There are like chunks, again, like, like the jalapeno one, there's like little chunks in here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like little chunks of like dried, I guess, ghost pepper. It's actually kind of spicy. It's, yeah, like I said, it's not gonna be as spicy as the Packy Chip Challenge I did recently, One Chip Challenge, but it has some spice to it and it's actually pretty good. I do like it. Mm, that's good. All right, so out of these four flavors, I'm gonna rank them. What did I say? I'm gonna say my favorite one out of all of them probably has to be the gold pepper one just because I like spice. So I would probably give gold pepper the first place, like my first first choice. So I'm gonna say first is probably gold pepper. I'm actually gonna give second to the cotton candy because cotton candy was actually not bad. It was a little bit it's sweet. Like I said, I do like cotton candy. I, sorry, I do like ketchup on my original mac and cheese. So it's not, it's pretty good. I'm gonna do jalapeno third. That one wasn't that bad, but it had give you a little bit of spice to it. So if you want a little bit of spice, then jalapeno is good to try. And the last one is butter chicken. Not horrible, but not my favorite. 
and try to get it. There are other four of them. And they're all actually pretty good. They all, to me, they're all pretty good. I'm not like, bleh. But white chicken, it just kind of tastes like, almost like a fake spice or something. This doesn't taste like butter chicken. It just tastes like they're adding spices there just to give a fake flavor. Even though everything here is artificial already. Right? But yeah, not my favorite. So I'm gonna go ghost pepper, cotton candy, surprisingly jalapeno and butter chicken. I thought I would have liked butter chicken more, so I actually bought two packs of it. So these are limited edition um, flavors. I don't know how long it's gonna be going on for. You can get them on the Craft Dinner website. I'll link it down below. So if you do wanna try them, go online, maybe you'll, and you'll be able to get them there until they sell out. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be going for. It's been about a few months right now, but it does say limited edition, so it's probably gonna be ending sometime soon. Now, if they do do it again next year, I probably would want to see maybe uh, something spicier than ghost pepper. Maybe they might do like a small batch of that. Maybe that might be like a trend, like how they have like spicy ramens or the spicy chip. Maybe spicy um, craft mac and cheese would probably be something else. And like a, a reaper version of it. I don't know how well that would do though. Or maybe a ketchup version since people are already like eating ketchup with their mac and cheese. So I would probably try that. But I do want to try the poutine flavor as well. Hopefully I can get that sometime. All right, so I'm just gonna end things there. You know what you can do, everything should be down below. Let me know if you've tried these and which ones you like and what you thought of them. Or if there are any new flavors, what flavor would you want to try as well? And until the next one, I'll talk to y'all later. Have fun.